Now, one fundamental law that we talk a lot about in economics is that profit maximization occurs when marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. We use it so much, but often we don't actually explain why that occurs. Now, remember, profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. So when we look at profit, we need to consider both of those two things. In truth, looking at the marginal revenue and the marginal cost curve, we can work out exactly where profit maximization will occur. Okay, how can we do that? The logical way to do it is by using three diagrams. Okay, this way it will make clear sense as to why MC equals MR is profit maxing. Well, let's go straight to the bottom curve. So, the best way to consider why M equals MR is profit max is to go either side. So let's go to the right hand side. Okay, any points to the right of M equals MR. Why can't any of those points to the right be profit maxing? Well, at any points to the right, the marginal cost of producing an extra unit is more than the marginal revenue brought in by that extra unit. So the cost is more than the revenue by producing more units after this point. Well, that's definitely going to reduce profits. Cost more than revenue. That's going to dampen profits. Okay, so any point to the right doesn't make any logical sense. You can see that. Go up to the profit curve here. The profit starts to fall after MC equals MR because it costs more than we actually get in in terms of revenue. Okay, so profits naturally will start to fall. But what about any points to the left? Why can't any points to the left of MC equals MR be profit maximization? Well, again, Let's look carefully, right? Let's pick where my finger is, this point here. So why don't we produce there? MR is much greater than MC. Well, surely that's a great place to produce. The marginal revenue brought in is way more than the marginal cost of producing that extra unit. So surely we're maximizing profits there. Well, no, it doesn't quite work. Because when we maximize profits, okay, we're trying to maximize the total level of profit. All right, so what we could do is by increasing output further, by moving output closer to MC equals MR, we can actually increase the total level of profit in the pot because all these units getting closer to MC equals MR, the marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost. So each extra unit is bringing in more revenue than cost. Each extra unit is bringing in more profit. Yes, the actual amount of profit being generated is falling each time, because MR is getting closer and closer to MC, but as long as MR is greater than MC, by increasing production, we can increase profits. All right? And that's what we see up here. Yes, we're bringing in profit each time, but the profit is going up more and more. Total profit is going up more and more. And that's true until we get to MC equals MR. We know any point to the right, cost is more than revenue, so we're going to be reducing profits. And to the left, we know we can increase profits by producing more because the marginal revenue is always greater than the marginal cost. Okay, so in truth, to maximize profits, we need to produce by MC equals MR. Very simply, if you go to the total cost and total revenue curve, when we maximize profits, it's when the distance between the two is greatest. Okay, so the greatest distance when TR is greater than TC, okay, that's going to be your maximum profit being made. And that corresponds to the highest point on the curve, on the profit curve. So, okay, that should explain why MC equals MR. Logically, go either side, and you'll work out that none of those points either side can maximise profits for the reasons I've just said. Hope that makes sense. See you next time.